The HEAST initiative is crucial for developing young people's ability to understand the world in which they live. Um, one day they're going to be running this country and they're going to be responsible for the world so it's important to give them an understanding from an early age about their responsibilities and to give them the idea that they can change things to make things better. So HEAT has given them the chance to organise things for themselves, to become uh, responsible, to get used to actually communicating, they've wrote letters to uh, local councillors, they've become involved in organising events and it's giving them the skills they need for life which is an important part of their education and becoming an adult. We have a project at Heathfield Foundation Technology College called HEAT, which is the Heathfield Environmental Action Team. Uh, that's been in existence a number of years now, where our young people have helped various projects in the neighbourhood uh, to look after the environment with a focus on many things, one of them including litter. And our young people and teachers here now, and teachers have left since, have built up relationships with Sandwell Partners and that's how the relationship came about, really, working with Tipton Litter Watch. Um, it's been very successful. Um, we've had a lot of positive comments from residents, and we've built up a lot of partners which have been very useful for helping the community in general. Tipton Litter Watch is an incredibly supportive organisation that helps me as a member of staff to oversee HEAT, which is what I do. I don't run it, it the students run it, I'm there to support them. HEAT gives me access to advice, um, it gives me access to resources and to experience, and it also allows me to be able to network with um, the council and other schools to find out what we can do to allow HEAT's ideas, because some of their ideas are quite wild and wacky and a bit over the top, and it's allowing me to see if it's realistic and then to get it to happen. Part of our sixth form enrichment activity, we have set up our own business of making and selling items to make profit. Our items have been developed around the idea of recycling. We started the idea of creating products from recycled materials and changed them into useful household products. This then came up with our mission statement which is on the board. We wanted our mission statement to sum up the meaning of what we are trying to make out of our company. Our objectives would help us deliver our mission statement. Recently we have started making coasters with sweet wrappers and pencil shavings and now let's go to that. Our original concepts of the bag were found upon the internet used the idea of recycled products such as capsule packets and crisp packets taped together to form a high quality bag. We looked upon this idea to create our own style of bags using similar products. The product we found most appealing to the public was capsule packets. Making this product would not only be useful for the environment, but also to save money and materials for not uh, buying new bags in the future. This year, in our school, Mr. Campbell <laughs> has been promoting social responsibility and, to, and for recycling to the 11 to 18 year olds in our school. We have a strong age system which involves a can recycling competition. We have currently recycled over 16,000 cans. We have aided this objective by recycling juice cans, crisp, crisp and sweet wrappers and bar tops in the making of our products. Students need to learn the importance of being part of a community because they've got to be able to interact with each other both socially and also in the world of work. In the 21st century, it's not just what you can do, it's the fact you have to work with people um, and community projects gives them that ability to communicate but also it gives them a sense of actually taking responsibility for the world and making the world a better place. Uh, my role in uh, the heating initiative is um, the chair basically that means um, I oversee all the environmental projects throughout the school and just make sure that everything runs smoothly with all of my environmental work. What I've gained from it is um, I've become a lot more confident my, uh, my leadership skills have gone up uh, dramatically and I know how to deal with problems and solve problems that need uh, attending to and uh, working with other people, that's the main thing. 
like with the street wardens and with uh, Lindsay and Diane from the Sandwell Council and just basically making sure that, that if they have any problems throughout the school that I know, know about it so I can help address them problems. When the young people grow up in like in say 50 years time the world, uh, the world and the environment will be a major thing because of obviously major countries like China and India and people like that are becoming like big superpowers and they're producing like massive carbon emissions and stuff like that and like the, ch the, the children of the 21st century are not are going to suffer from that so obviously it's our job to act now and make sure that we're doing, a, we're doing the right job. So that's why, that's why I see it's important for the environment. You've already interviewed one person in particular who that person uh, started at the school didn't find things easy at, at Heathfield and, and indeed came into conflict almost with senior staff and we were wondering if they were going to be able to manage to come through the college but actually developing relationships with the staff and the community and actually feeling a sense of worth in doing some of these projects helped the one person in particular grow in confidence, gain that sense of pride in his community and so much so to actually go through many years of his life developing that sense of pride and that commitment to something that's truly remarkable really and that young man has held many positions, won many awards uh, and has been a beacon for others to follow in the college and I think in essence what, what pupils can get out of this they can get a sense of team as working as part of the team they get a sense of team outside the school so a sense of community working with community partners and just the experience in, in, in developing something external to school, something external to exams and dealing with normal people outside of school, people they might not normally meet is really a good world sort of experience for them and brings them out to themselves and develops them a lot as young people. The HEAT initiative grew out of the work done by one of our former uh, assistant principals, um, Malcolm Kemble. And over 10 years, the school's been involved in lots of environmental projects. Um, and one of those was litter picks in the community and becoming more involved with improving the environment and the life of the community. Um, and then HEAT grew up out of that over the last two, three years. And then I've picked it up over the last year and we're developing it as we're going towards the Eco School Award. I was at the school for 36 years. So um, I was assistant principal from 1984 until I retired last year in uh, 2009. Thank you very much, Heathfields Foundation Technology College. <laughs> Obviously you've already seen them here once this evening, but we've had a quote as well. The response to Big Spring Clean at our school has been so fantastic that we have a waiting list ready for next year. Thank you very much. <laughs>present Old Hill Traders Association. Um, we have 25-30 members in Old Hill and part of our remit is to look after Old Hill 
um, to see that um, everyone gets as much help with the council, etc. Um, and of course one of our principal areas is seeing that the town stays tidy. Well, I suppose you can safely say that, that school children and litter sometimes go hand in hand. That, that, you, know, I, I, you know, I've traded here for 46 years myself and you find, and I've always had, you know, a problem with litter, lunchtime, school children. Um, but it, with the enlargement of Heathfield, as it got bigger and bigger, more and more students were coming into Old Hill. Until now, you can sometimes number them in the hundreds, I suppose. And um, what we were experiencing in the last 10 years is a massive increase in the amount of litter. Pizza boxes, fish and chip papers, bits of this, bits of that, which actually are a danger to the general public. The old people could tread on a piece of pizza on the floor, trip over a cardboard box. Um, and sometimes, in a breezy day, Old Hill looked like a prairie town in the Midwest. Instead of tumbleweed coming down the street, it was fish and chip yeah. papers and, and, and yeah. all that sort of thing, yeah. Linda, isn't it? Yeah, you know? no. and, yeah. and like Linda and I and some of the other traders were going out and picking this stuff up and putting it in bins. And so um, we approached Heathfield, asked them to come to our meeting, and I think it was the deputy head who actually came. I think originally, yes, we got, we got one and they involved the board of governors and I think they came up with the idea well if you're going to involve the students it's much better to actually have the students do something about it mm. and so you know two three years ago we had this literally this kind of morning where students came down in batches and some of the traders went out there with them and those the PCS, those the police yes, did, support yeah. officers yeah. as well. You know, so that the kind of almost the whole community was involved in the church, Old Hill Church, too. And they got into the corners, you know, where all this was just blowing yeah. up. You know, where the council were doing their best. Mm. I, I mean, I can't really be critical of the council. They they would come down in one form or another to help with the litter, but when it was on a, a I, and I don't think I'm exaggerating to say a massive scale, you know, it really needed to be stopped at source. And so the lads and girls came down and um, th there was a good day, you know, an enjoyable day or, and, a, and, a, and it raised the awareness. They also offered to provide wheelie bins, if you remember. That's right, And litter yes. pickers um, yeah. for any traders that wanted Actual them. Actual physical, physical things. You but, know, uh, I but I think, think of us, most of us were doing a Margaret Thatcher mm. and getting down there yeah. and just and doing it right, yeah. rather than using these litter pickers. But yeah, there was, there was the response from the school, which was positive at the time. We, yeah. had, we had a lot of comments. Yes, well, we did, you know, because, uh, you know, it's all local rubbish, people here, yeah. isn't it? And the, the yeah. comments beforehand about the rubbish, yes, mm. can't there be something done? Yeah. And us as a traders association, you know, you feel as if you have to, you know, we did need to respond. And the, um, but there was a response on the day. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, they're picking up. Oh, that's nice. That's good. You know. It's education to say, you know, this is the, the right thing to do. You know, it's your town as well. It isn't just our town, it's your town. The students we've got, through working with HEAT, it gives them a, a lot of responsibility. I know that students who go out litter picking with me regularly, when they are outside or in their school, they'll actually tell people not to drop litter. Um, and they'll actually pick it up because they realise that there's nobody to pick, to pick it up. Um, yes, the council go around picking up litter off the floor, but as they've said to me, why do they have to do that if people can put it in the bins? And it's also about, they, can, they start thinking about, well, hang on, if we actually turn lights off, we'll save the environment and save money. So it's changed their idea about the one, made them be a little bit more responsible and understanding about it. With their efforts, their hard work, their enthusiasm, they've helped to improve the image of the school um, in terms of um, the, the community. They've done a great job in terms of the wider community in, in the physical aspect of cleaning it up. Um, but they've also taken part, they've volunteered, and that's the message I would give to any other youngsters. Don't just sit there and, and watch others doing it. Go and have a go, and you might even find you enjoy it. And the, the students here did and got a lot out of it.